morning, everyone. Hope you all had your breakfast already. <laughs> Good morning, Hias ng Tacloban City. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling excited but really nervous, but I'm happy to be here. Okay, tell us more, uh, tell us something very interesting about yourself. So, uh, I'll start with my name. I am Israel Atiro Martinez Coloma. I'm representing Tacloban City, and I am one for adventure. I'm one with hope and dedication. Adventure because I want to travel the world through off road and overland and overseas trips. And I am one with hope and dedication because I have a purpose. A purpose as a daughter to give back to my family. Another is as a student to reach my goals and value education and finish my education. And okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Why is a Filipina so diverse in culture? A Filipina is so diverse in culture because we are all blessed with um, with our own unique characteristics, uh, um, culture, and our tourism. We are all given our, in our hometowns, we all have our own qualities and characteristics. We, in Tacloban, we are resilient. We are strong and we remain happy. After Typhoon Yolanda, we are known as the home of the happiest people because of... Thank you. In the light of many current controversies, do you think as a beauty queen, is it better to take a neutral stance or express your personal opinion on the issue at hand? I believe as a beauty queen and um, for me having an influential position in front of many people, it is important to have a neutral stance in respect for different opinions. This is because we all are opinionated, we all have our own beliefs, culture, and in this way to have respect and to be um, to understand other people is to have a neutral stance on certain issues. How can tourism be a tool in improving mental health? Tourism can be a tool in improving mental health through showing people that we belong, that everyone is involved involved through diversity, and that as um, we are united in our country, in our city, and this can show that, uh, this can show people that we, are, we take care of our people and this can help them uh, feel better for themselves, to feel that the people care about them, people love them. When did you become a hero to someone else? I became a hero to someone else when I realized that I helped them encounter their challenges in life. When I helped them gain confidence, especially by in inspiring them to be better, inspiring them to facing their fears and to risk it all. Because I believe that it's important to be confident and to believe in yourself and that's what matters the most okay thank you very much mr cloban city yeah.